how are you going to get that nice car and successful life? You, it's telling you, the vision's telling you, look at, in the vision where you're very successful, stepping out of the nice car, look into your eyes, focus, not hard, just play with it, and see the imagination that you is filled with energy, meaning he's working. He's working, and you're not working. That's the difference from you and successful you, right? So everyone focus on the Ferrari, just come to me. But no, look at who's in the Ferrari, which is your higher self filled with energy, positivity, and win, winning vibration, winning frequency, which is when the vibration is full, when it's like a shield, right? And that's the quantum field. Like Egyptians knew this, everyone knew Close your eyes and imagine your wins. You're not negative when you're winning. Trust me on that, right? You're ne you've never won being negative. And if you have, you kind of get embarrassed because you compare it to when you're being positive and it's very different, right? It's peace of mind, money, all that. You can say these L's, and stuff, these L's are more addictive than any drug. These L's of I felt alive for an hour is more addictive than anything you'll always wind back to this if you don't believe me how addicted are you to sitting in your bed your computer room and doing nothing you love l's there's nothing more addictive than taking l's there's especially if you're stubborn if you're like you know what because self what a form of depression is anyone who drinks i don't care it's a dep that's what a depressant is it's alcohol it's self-aggression so heel mike's at war with himself if he doesn't have a war he'll drink till it appears in front of his face uh hold up here's what was i saying the black pill yeah okay guys think of your unconscious as one in the chat if you're listening bro i'm not saying this twice because this is going to be the darkest you ever hear and just transmute heel mike's psychic issues with yours okay the, your unconscious that is like a pool where you kind of look into the reflection and you don't really understand your shadow. Could have some nice shadow traits. You know, my shadow traits made me have this awesome life, but it also comes with a lot of bad, right? And making the unconscious conscious is how you individuate and become whole as a person, successful and happy. Uh, not happy, whole. Nobody wants happiness. They want to be whole. That's the feeling. So... For example, you don't know your unconscious traits. Like, uh, the reason you're with your girlfriend is not because you love her. It's because you don't want to end up alone. But what, are you saying that there's nothing I... I do enjoy her company, and I'm saying you put up with her shit because you don't want to end up alone. That's how it works, correct? That's how it works. And you can never actually use your brain to unravel your unconscious. It has to be triggered through trauma... And then it gets repressed. So even then, or through therapy or, or a psychic revelation, right? So now check this out. The archetypes, there's infinite and they're surrounded by symbols, right? So think of Neptune. The symbol of Neptune says a lot. It's a thought form that's packed with a bunch of shit, right? The deep unconscious, the mystical, the delusions, the world of fantasies, water, all that shit. Think of it, the little trident, right? Symbols are surrounding an archetype. Uh... In the Zodiac, let's say there's 12 archetypes, right? But there's infinite, bro. Your brain can just whop, 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 whop. Now check this out. The archetypes that rule you will rule you for the rest of your life and there's nothing you can do about it. That's what no therapist will ever tell you because they don't study Jung and it's illegal. This information I'm telling you right now is illegal. That's why five therapists at that party freaked out when I said it and I destroyed them in the debate. It got quiet. And I'm so glad it's not live, but because they understood Jung. And one of the therapists said to me, well, can't you just change your archetype? No, you can't. If your archetype that rules you is like a Vegeta type, anti-hero. Well, Vegeta changed at the, he changed at the end of the series, but he's still Vegeta. He's still the same guy with development. That's unconscious becoming conscious that's the individuation process but he's still not goku he cannot be goku there's something about the devil that is i've never seen anything prettier in my life man 
Like, the devil is a force, and the best-looking version he comes in is the mirror. You don't even know how attractive... Mike ain't make money off this stream, and he still gets pulled to the dark side. And you don't know the dance with the devil. It's euphoric for your animal nature. It, your higher self don't even f*** with it. Don't, it's not even mad. Your higher self's not even mad at the devil. Just, I don't want it. That's what's scary is like, you, every day, there's, you have a desire body. Okay, we're getting a little deep. But you have a desire body, a world of desires. And some people's desires are Epstein level. Billions of dollars, what's darker? Let's go to kids. Let's go to, the desires are never quenched. You can't fill that hole without God. It's impossible, dude. You don't need sunlight to grow a child because there's an invisible sunlight called God that raises you, fills you, grows you, and you're a seed turning to a stalk, stem, and a rose. But guess what? At one point, some trauma you go through in your life happens, and you go, no more sunlight for me. No more, not until I find out what happened to my leaves. What happened to my connection with my father? What happened to my Why is my stalk bent? And you stop growing with God. You stop growing towards God. And that's a scary place, bro. Why do you think when I lived with Mike, I was lit that he, he looked at me. He's like, dude, it's been a month. I haven't thought of anything bad. I'm like, yeah, I'm good at this, bro. I'm like, you want to live with me? But I said that if he knew what was in my head, bro, that was the first month. I didn't think of anything bad. I used to be a very negative guy. Loved living with this dude. Loved it, bro. Like, you know how many goes we ditch just to laugh us two? But Mike and Zerka, our shadows are huge, man. Huge. These are the only streamers that will get stabbed on stream type shit. Because before psychology, the practice was this thing called magic. Like working with the unconscious. Because look, the unconscious is a mammoth. You feed it peanuts, you appease it. But eventually it takes you to the street fight. There's nothing that will stop that mother. And that's what's scary about you guys is if you're unconscious wants you to stay home and be a loser. The only thing you have control over is the time frame, how long you want to be a loser. But as soon as you stop being a loser, it's going to walk you back to your room to be a loser. And you have to get out and it's going to walk you back. And eventually that relationship starts going this way and you start switching. But what happens when it switches? Even bad stuff happened there, but at least you're out the room, right? And so if you're an introvert, Therapists start stealing your money by saying you can fix it. You're going to be fighting it, your psychological com complex for the rest of your life, but it gets way Valid better. Donated That's the good $5. Part.